Dear viewers, welcome to yet another edition of Your Life, Your Money. Have you any time thought living too long, is it a good news or is it a bad news? It can be a good news only if you make it happen. Otherwise, it can be hell on earth. Retirement planning is more than money matters. There are so many things which has to go into a proper retirement planning. In this episode, I am going to talk to you about what are the things that you need to consider, how you should build your retirement planning and all the things that you need to know. This is NRA Money Clinic for you and I am Dr. Chandra Kanbat, your financial guide for a happy living. NRI Money Clinic. No hype, just the right advice. If you look at the data, for over 95% of the people who retire, they will never have golden years of their life. The golden years, otherwise known as the retirement years, can be made golden years only with your proper planning. It is said the retirement years from 60 to 75 are the true golden years. 75 to 85 are the bonus years in your life. If you survive beyond 85 years, it could be a curse. It could be a curse for you. It could be a curse for people around you. That's what a retirement is all about. If you have crossed 45 years of your age, nature has already selected you to live longer. How long? You could be living up to 85 to 90 years. 85 to 90 years, post 60 years after retirement is a pretty long period. 60 to 90 is 30 years, 60 to 85 is 25 years. Think about it. You have entered the job market and settled down in life by 30 years of age and you retire at 60. You have worked for 30 years and you are staring at 25 to 30 years of unemployment called retirement years. Unless you deep dive into the problems that you might get into during this retirement years, your life will never end up as golden years. What are the things you must look at? Let's look at them one by one. The major part of your retirement planning is investing in money. Call it as money matters. There are two distinct set of people. People who have adequate or lesser than adequate amount of money and people who have more than the required amount of money by the time they retire. Planning is required for both of them. If you are a person who has retired without sufficient enough money for you to leave, then it requires a major planning for you. Where will the money come from? You live longer, but your money will not last longer. You need a planner's help to plan your finances in a proper way. You must make your money grow. You shouldn't be taking unwanted risk. I know it's not an easy situation to be in. You don't like to ask for help from your friends, relatives, children or from the government. But the reality is you have inadequate amount of money. The first thing that you have to do is make sure that your money grows. But do not take unwanted risk. In, in pursuit of getting a higher return, don't park your money in small banks, cooperative banks, thinking that you'll get that half a percent extra, one percent extra. You're already having an inadequate amount of money. And this lure of money and taking risk can completely go against you. Instead, take proper help, see how you can build your resources with passage of time. When you retire at 60, you don't need all that money in one day. You still have 25, 30 years. You can divide it into blocks of five years and see how you can build it. Many of you, even though might be having inadequate amount of liquid cash or resources, you could be sitting on some of the assets like parcels of land, uh, one another property somewhere else. And you could be thinking that I'll give it to my children. I will not consume. No, you don't need to do that. Manage your life. Children will manage their life. Release that capital, which is there in the assets. You could be having one big house. If you have inadequate amount of money at an appropriate time during your retirement years, swap that big house, move to a smaller house. It has two benefits for you. One, it releases capital and increases your money supply. Second thing, you will have more manageable home, easy to manage. So it's an advantage. So sit with your planner, check with your spouse what you want to do and properly plan your finances. On the contrary, if you are a person who is 
having more than adequate amount of money quite a lot of them we have lots of client in that uh, category here you have to understand now you are in a phase of wealth distribution you are not in a period of wealth creation you shouldn't be lured by getting more returns rather how will you consume this money the reality of life is you cannot consume all this money when you know that you cannot consume so much of a money why should you chase unwanted return why should you chase unwanted risk to build it to a further level rather see how you can add meaning to that wealth what do you want to do with this wealth how will you distribute this money and make a list of things whatever that you want to do in your life and consume that money this is a period of wealth consumption too everything that you want to do in your life do it between the phase 60 to 75 and between 60 to 75 i would say you are still youthful and your senses are fine your health is not all that much bad you don't need an external help to go around use this money that you have to do everything that you want to do be it giving a charity being going around the places visiting the religious places think about whatever that you want to do do it between 60 to 75 nevertheless do not forget the money management money has to be managed whether you have less or whether you have more and for that you need definitely professional advice we understand retirement from all angles we understand the fine points of retirement money matters matters other than that what is the situation of your wife what might happen in the likely event of inflation taking over your retirement how your funds have to be positioned we understand every bit of detail if you are a person who is looking out for a professional assistant to build your retirement cash flows you should consider engaging our services our number is shown here on the screen if you have an intention from any corner of the world you can contact us through a whatsapp message and my team of experts are ever ready to help you if you have that intention do not delay send that message now in your retirement planning never ever underestimate the importance of inflation and what it can do for you the harmful effects of it we know that going forward inflation will be low however low the inflation could be it will affect you without a doubt when inflation comes down the bank fd rates come down when bank fd rates come down the amount of surplus income that you derive from this interest income will also come down it could be 2% inflation it could be 3% inflation that means to say the fixed income portion that you have in your retirement planning will lose its purchasing power to the extent of inflation and you have a long life 2% 3% per year over 10 20 25 years can completely erode the purchasing power of your money you need to be aware about this and don't go by the word that retire shouldn't be investing in a stock market or in a mutual fund you do have a need to invest in such instruments which can either keep pace with the inflation or beat inflation but you need professional assistance don't try to do it yourself don't go by the advice of friends and relatives why i say you should not be taking the advice of friends and relatives simple the advice comes free of cost advice does not have responsibility it's a casual advice they are like the commentators in a cricket match you should be guided by professional financial planners that is where you go and take their advice and design your portfolios likewise in retirement planning you should also consider the situation of your spouse data says women live longer data says most husbands leave first leaving behind their spouse this is the reality of life another reality of life is women do not manage funds not that they are not capable of handling funds they are but they don't take interest imagine a situation your spouse your wife is getting older and one day you suddenly leave behind a wealth which she cannot manage i have asked during my fact find session with my clients to the wives what do you like a big portfolio of mutual funds or a stable income hitting your bank account month after month and you will be surprised over 99% of women told me only one answer we don't want wealth we want a secured stream of income to hit my bank account in the unfortunate event of my husband being not there this is a lesson this is a revelation this is a planning point make sure that you have 
a stable source of income in the unfortunate event of you being not there in your life's journey with your spouse. Invest in a proper place or where you are going to reside. Your house is very important. You may have a house in some place which you don't intend to live there or if it is too big or if it is too far away or if it does not have the required facilities. Think about it before you retire. Make sure you live in a house which is where you need all the facilities. Safety is not an issue. All the things are near to you and it's not so big that you cannot manage it. In your life's journey, a loneliness strikes you or your spouse one or the other day. If you have a very big house, it may become unmanageable for you. So move into a house which you can manage. Likewise, if you buy a house closer to your retirement, for most part of your retired life, it does not require a maintenance. Otherwise, you get into a house which is very old, your retirement years could be filled with painting, managing the house and all these problems which you don't want to take up. Maybe you swap the old house to a new house. Maybe swap the old big house to a smaller house. Maybe move from one place to the other place. But make sure you do proper homework and move to the right place. During your retirement years, safety is a big concern. Safety of your place of stay, safety from people around you, safety from strangers, safety from your activities. Do not do the mistakes of bringing strangers to your house. Be careful. People may become very friendly to you. They may have ulterior motives behind their activity. I've heard about these stories. People get friendly during a walk or during your activity in a park and you do the mistake of bringing them back home. And this can become a problem for you. Always consider what safety issues it might create for you. Likewise, year after year, you are becoming slowly but steadily weak. Your bones are getting brittle. You should be very careful getting into any strenuous activity. One wrong activity can land you in a hospital and digging a big hole in your finances. So be very careful about the safety aspect during your retirement planning. People think I'm normal like ever before. You are not. You are getting older. Understand this point. Retirement planning is also about mental planning. Mental planning for the events that will happen in your life. It's perfectly normal that the children will move out of the house. They move to another city. They may move to another country. They live separately. These are all part and parcel of the life. Do not get depressed because it happens. Yes, initially it is difficult, but time heals everything. Likewise, as you move through the life's journey, a point will come where one of the spouse will leave early. Most likely, it is the husbands who leave early if the data is to be believed. Beyond that point, the loneliness strikes in your life. Unless you are mentally prepared for such an event, people get depressed and find it very difficult to travel the rest of the journey. Retirement is all about lots of time. Invest your time properly. You always cribbed in your life that you don't have time during your childhood days, during your school days, during your periods of career, the prime years you didn't have time. Now you have lots of time. How do you invest this time? Don't sit at home and count unwanted things or worry about that aching bones. Rather invest your time properly. What do you want to do during your retirement? Travel or reading? joining clubs and do that activity what you want to do invest your time very well by the time you retire you should have a blueprint of what is that you are going to do during your retirement years if you do not invest your time properly during your retirement you will not have long life it is very important that you consume this time in a meaningful way so that your life gets a value because of this time otherwise time itself becomes a burden on you Retirement planning involves being tech savvy. You have to be tech savvy. Come out of the mindset that because of your age, you can't keep pace with the technology. Look at the prime minister. He is in 72, 73 years or early 70s he could be. Look at how technologically savvy he is. If he can do it, why can't I and you do it? Today, life without internet is just impossible. You will not find a domestic help. You will not find a servant. You don't find people to do everything that you want. And everything around you revolves around internet or the gadgets. And if you are not technologically savvy 
and if you don't put your energies into learning something new then your retirement planning is incomplete and it is going to be a burden for you and it is going to be a burden for others is it really difficult to learn during the old age i don't believe so it's just that the mental block people have that i cannot learn is not making them learn something you have all the time one step at a time you have guidance on youtube you have got so much of help by way of internet today you can do these things yourself come out of this mental block that i am not technologically savvy and be tech savvy have a good phone and try to learn something new that will keep your life very interesting retirement planning is also about preparing your exit this is a reality of life we pass through our life journey from point a to the last point in life every day we pass on the journey we are closer to the other side of our life journey be prepared do everything that you need to do before that day comes let that day not take you by surprise prepare a will make a list of things control distribution of your money why should you leave it in the hands of your children or somebody else to distribute what you leave behind take control of it write down your will and if you want to give something to your children to the society to charity or somebody around you do it when you are fit and fine control things and prepare for your exit when the day comes live happily by the time you retire retirement planning should have one agenda the agenda to add a purpose to your life the classic difference between a work life and a retired life is your work life had a purpose behind it your retired life unless you add a purpose is a purposeless life that you are living on this planet earth when you joined career you had a hope you wanted to get married live in a particular type of house do so many things give it to society bring up children take care of your parents society build up a career so many things purpose filled life what happens when you retire suddenly you realize there is no purpose why your life one third of your life 25 30 years be without a purpose you can add a purpose find out what is the purpose of your life do you want to learn do you want to give it do you want to give something for the society what is that you want to really achieve write down and add a purpose when you add a purpose to your life the way you live that life completely differs it adds a pleasure to your life it adds a meaning to your life it gives more health to you and the number of years you live on earth is definitely that is going to increase think about it think very seriously add a purpose to your life before you retire and lead that precious one third years of your golden years of life dear viewers after watching this video you would have understood how complex the retirement can be yes it is complex and you can make it simple if it did give you a direction how you have to plan and why retirement planning is more than money please do like this video if you are a person who is watching my episode for the first time or if you are yet to subscribe for the channel please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon don't forget to share these videos with your near and dear ones thank you very much for watching this episode on nrm money clinic i shall be back with you next friday with one another topic on your life your money till then stay safe press the bell icon for more details and subscribe our channel